If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Welcome, folks. Time for some really important information. I'm excited. I hope this pumps you up as well because from the shells of Dante Del Vecchio comes his brand new fountain pens that he has just developed in his workshop and I hope you are as pleased with these pens as I am. I'm really amazed at the work that's been put in this, the details that's been put in this. It's the excitement that Dante shows from his heart, the love that he's known for making his fountain pens. And the name of the fountain pens that we're going to show you are? It's the Tempe Moderni. And Mr. Announcer, please read what it says about these beautiful fountain pens. The strongly innovative design was inspired by the fuselage of the first jet aircraft. Changing the section and shape of the pen, it starts as an ogive, or ogivy, perhaps, and becomes triangular and ends in a round shape. The main perceived shape is triangular with strongly rounded corners. The shape of the pen is an isosceles triangle in ratio 1.32 to 1, so the base gives a wide support for the fingers. It has an ergonomic grip. Thumb, forefinger, and middle finger find a perfect writing position on the three sides of the pen. Handling. The shape of the pen facilitates clip opening for storing the pen in the pocket. There is a double magnet closure system that guarantees a stable and secure closure. To fill the fountain pen, it is a converter with efficient and an easy to use piston function. And fountain pen, rollerball, ballpoint, and pencil, a complete set for all kinds of writing. Well, there you have it, a breakdown of it. Highly innovative designs, inspired again by the fusil age of the first shit aircraft. Pretty cool, eh? I think so. So, Mr. Announcer, read that second part about right under that. It has a picture. Uh, a highly innovative design inspired by the fuselage of the first jet aircraft. Right under that, the main? The main perceived shape is the triangular with strongly rounded corners. Now look at those pictures. The cap top and the blind cap. Right, now we're going to go down to the next part and the sections, Mr. Announcer. The section and mutant shape of the pen it starts with an ogivy, becomes triangular, and ends round. Now let's take a look real quick at the pin itself. We go to the down the barrel to the very tip, it's round, and you can see the arrows pointing down, and then we're going to take a trip up the barrel, follow the yellow brick road, all the way up, then you see the triangular shape where it's pointed to with the band, and then up by this beautiful, stunning clip, and we go all the way up to the very top, and it has the ogivy at the very top. So now we're going to go down to the next where Mr. Announcer. Okay, it pictures a double magnet lock system. And the first picture on the left, at least on my left, it shows you the part of the pen. And then we're going to go to the right. And right above that right, you're going to see that plane. And that kind of neat how it it looks like it's interlocking with the part of the pin on the lock system. Then we're going to go down to the next set of pictures and Mr. Announcer. The triangle is an isosceles with the base greater than the height. It has an ergonomic grip, thumb, index, middle for each of the three sides. And then the shape of the pin makes opening of the clip easier. Okay. And then we're going to go down, and then uh, we're going to go to the stylus loading, Mr. Announcer. Stylus loading, a converter with piston function. It has a built-in clip mechanism. Let's take the first one real quick. 
and you can see where the red circle is at the end of the barrel and then we're going to go all the way up to the very top where the clip is and see a little kind of like a spring is that what it looks like to you? I think it is a spring okay. yes and let's go to the second picture it's going to be Basically, what the first one is, but a little bit different. That's going to be the ballpoint, isn't it? Looks I like. would, I would imagine so. And then the next one is the same thing, but this is the front filling picture of the pen. Now we're going to go down to the fountain pen. At the first part of it, you're going to see the clip on the very top where the cap is and you go all the way down where well, you can see in the middle the filling system of the fountain pen and next is going to be a roller ball yay roller pins at the very top again we're going to see the clip and there's the roller ball point uh, it fits into it and then it goes right down and there's the end of the pen with the roller ball and then we're going to come to the ball point in pencil so, again, at the very top of the cap, you see the clip, and we come on down, all the way down, and there is the ballpoint. And I'm going to, I guess, think that the pencil will work the same way, I think. But we'll know more when uh, Dante comes on this weekend. So, let's go on down to the next one. Mr. Announcer, fountain pens, and go ahead and announce these. Uh, it, again, the fountain pen, the roller, and the ballpoint pencil in a different color. These are red and black. The previous one was uh, black and silver. Now look at the red ones. Are you there yet? Yes. All right, let's talk about these red ones. Look at those beautiful red pens. What, I love the design. I love the color. I love the trim work on these pens. They're exciting. They're new. They're vibrant. They're pumping. They're exciting. I mean, any pen enthusiast would just be drooling over these pens. So you have the fountain pen, you have the roller ball, and you have the ballpoint and pencil. And then we'll go down to the next one, Mr. Announcer. Uh, this shows us different color selections. Uh, one is classic black or British racing green, and the trim is in rose gold. Okay. Uh, the other set is classic black or oceans blue, and its trim is in palladium. Okay. And then there is France Racing Blue and Italy Racing Red, both in Rutinium. Well, you know, for me, I love all of them. But I'm really digging and feeling that red one, that Italian Racing Red. It reminds me of Mr. Uh, uh, Dante himself, because, you know, he loves racing motorcycles, right? That's his heart. But Fountain Pins is his passion. And I love that uh, Racing Blue as well. The Racing Blue, the Red. Well, you know, ocean blue, you name it. I just love all of them. So, uh, I don't know yet on the pricing. I'm sure a lot of the people that will be selling these pens already have the pricing. So, you might want to check with them uh, and see how much they're going to cost. And if you need any, any more information, you know, ask your uh, people that are selling them. And I'm sure they'd be happy to get you. Uh, I believe Pin Potique, Lena, should be happy to steer you in the right direction. And I'm thinking that Frank and Federalist Pins and Paper might as well. But check it out. See what's going on. Hey, it's something that we've been waiting for. It's finally arrived. The ship has landed. Dante has created a new awesome future pin for 2023. You got to give the man credit. The man knows his stuff. He knows his work. Better yet, he knows what his heart tells him. Peace and love, my friends. Take care. God bless. Be safe. See you soon, Dante.